Hey guys, this is my breakdown for the trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So yes, unexpectedly Marvel dropped the first teaser trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and I got a chance to check it out. I want to say though, first of all, I, I really, I like the first two Ant-Man movies more than like I think everyone else. Like I really actually, had those, I have a soft spot for those films, I really enjoy both of them. Um, I like number one better than number two but I still, I, I really enjoy both of them and I think they're both great. So I've been naturally very excited for this, you know. Um, the, the first two Ant-Man movies sort of have a grounded feel to them and they're sort of based in the science realm of the MCU. But this seems to be taking a departure. So based... I, okay, I want to say I liked the trailer. I don't know if I loved it. Like I loved the first Black Panther trailer. Like It didn't give me goosebumps like the first Black Panther trailer did. But I feel like the Black Panther trailer, that was something special. But I, I like this trailer. I think, I think I feel like this film is going to take a different direction with the Ant-Man franchise. I feel like they sort of did the same thing with um, Thor Ragnarok where it was Thor sort of had his own realm in Thor 1 and Thor 2 with like Asgard and sort of you know um, Norse mythology and stuff like that and it sort of transitioned to you know cosmic space galaxy sort of stuff and that's what this feels like it feels it feels very Guardians of the Galaxy I like very much so like I'll, I think I think it could have done a better job as of maybe um making itself more distinct and different from like the Guardians of the Galaxy movies because I feel like they're very similar they've got like those alien things they've got um like the environments look similar the coloring so yeah I feel like maybe in the movie it'll look different and they'll you know it, it will come across differently but from the trailer it does feel very Guardians of the Galaxy which you know I'm like I'm fine with I love those movies um, yeah, I feel like it'd be cool if Amy had its own stuck sort of stuck with its own thing. But disregarding that, I love the concept of what I've heard from this film. Of Kang, I know Kang is going to be in it. I'll talk about him in a minute. But it's going to the whole thing basically takes place in the quantum realm, realm, and it's sort of an adventure. I'm not going to spoil any plot details because I know a little bit about this movie, so I'm going to not spoil any of that. But from what I heard, from what I've heard, and I think you know a lot of other people have as well. Um, from what I've heard, this seems like it's going to be really, really interesting. And I hope it sticks to landing. A lot of people have problems with the director, Peyton Reed, as saying he's too bland of a director. But I feel like this... I, 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 for starters, I disagree because I love the two first two Ant-Man films. And I feel like this is going to be really good. Um, the visuals are spectacular. I will say, though, there are some scenes where it's like, okay, that's, that's very clearly a green screen. Like, and it's kind of frustrating because there are Marvel movies where they do green screen really well. Like in Civil War, the airport battle, that was that was all green screen and it looked fantastic. But in some scenes here, you can tell like, oh, okay, it's just green screen or the volume because I know they use the volume technology for this. So, yeah, um, I feel like that's sort of annoying, but it's not, it's not a big issue. It's just, you know, Marvel has been having issues with their VFX lately, but that's okay. It lo it looks fine. It doesn't it doesn't look bad by any mean by any means. It it looks fine, but yeah. So I'm so excited. I, okay, I'm so excited to see Ant Man again. But I'm, I want to talk about Wasp for a second. She has a new haircut, which I think looks really good. It's comics accurate. The short haircut. They change Hope's hair every movie. I realized. Um, I think her new suit looks awesome. She's got the, the like really yellow upgrades to her suit, and I think that look really good. Cool, really cool. They look really wasp like like she is we've got Cassie in here um which uh, I I have some issues with the casting of Cassie I feel like I feel like they didn't need to recast Emma Furman from Endgame she had that little scene in Endgame where they her and um Scott hug and I'm like but she's a good act actress I've seen her in a few other things I'm like I don't know the reason I don't know if they said why they recasted but that's kind of really annoying because I liked her and I feel like she could have done a really good job. And she had a look, she had like a good, she looked like Paul Rudd. And Catherine Newton does look like Paul Rudd with the brown hair. And I like Catherine Newton very much. I liked her in Freaky and I liked her in, um, oh god, what was that thing? She was in it, it, I can't think of it now. But I thought she was really good in Freaky. And yeah, so I like Catherine Newton. I don't have a problem with her. I just feel like, did Emma Furman need to be recasted? But anyway, yeah. So, 
clearly she is gonna she has been you know aged up from the blip and clearly she's gonna have a much bigger role in this movie and she is going to be you know it's stature the eight man's child stature who she was she has she you see her wearing the purple outfit in this trailer she is a I, I don't know if she's part of the young avengers in the comics i'm not a comic reader but I'm, yeah i know that she's part of the new generation of avengers which they seem to be introducing like a lot of them with you know, uh, Wanda's kids, you know, uh, Hulk's son, Scar, um, Stature, Kate Bishop, um, America Chavez, Miss Marvel, all that kind of stuff. They seem to be introducing a younger a younger um, generation of Avengers, which, you know, love heroes. It, it, uh, we'll see how we go. I like the ones that we've got so far. We'll see how she goes. Um, Paul Rudd does not seem to age. I know that is a very common joke, but it, I think it's true. He looks great. I love the Ant new Ant-Man suits uh, for him and Cassie and Wasp. I think they look great. Um, I'm really excited to see what Scott goes through in this movie because typically in the Marvel franchise, the third movie in the trilogy is the movie where they lose something. You know, Thor lost his home in Ragnarok, Iron Man lost his suits, Captain America lost his shield, and um, Spider-Man lost everyone he loves, basically. And lost his identity, sort of. So yeah, well, I'm interested to see what Scott loses and what his arc is throughout this movie, because I love Scott. He's like one of my favorite characters in the Marvel universe. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, but now I'm going to talk about what what is the seat, the stealer of this trailer. Oh, by the way, I love the music in this trailer, the Yellow Brick Road song that they've used in the background. I thought that sounded phenomenal. But yeah, um. I want to talk about the big thing, which is Kang the Conqueror, Jonathan Majors, who we last saw in Loki as He Who Remains. This is a different version of Kang. I want to say that's not a spoiler. This is a different version of Kang. This is, I think, I think this is our universe's Kang. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I would assume so, but he could have come from another universe and killed our universe's Kang. I'm not sure. But this is, Jonathan Majors has said that this will be a warrior Kang, and you can tell that by, he's got an army. I think his city is called Chronopolis, like his headquarters is called Chronopolis from the comics, I've heard that, and in fact, it's in the Quantum Realm, so that is comics accurate, which is good. Um, he looks great. Jonathan Majors' Kang looks fantastic. We didn't get a, like, a close-up look at his suit, but toward the end, that you see his purple collar, you see his face with the two scars running down his eyes, which look really, really cool, by the way. And we see some you know, sort of far away shots of his suit, which looks great. Chronopolis looks awesome. I, that's what I'm calling his big headquarters base with all the um, like the soldiers and the rings. I think there's going to be something going on with those rings, by the way. They might be connected to the Ten Rings. I don't know. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what is happening with him. And clearly Kang needs Ant-Man's help for something. And I'm very excited to see what that is exactly. I sort of know, but I sort of don't. So yeah. Um... I, I'm, I'm so excited for Kang. I mean, look, this movie really is going to be an introduction to Kang and to what Kang is in the MCU. He is the next Thanos, and I'm so excited. I, I can't contain my excitement for this movie. I mean, like, the trailer was not... Like, I didn't love the trailer. Like, I loved the Black Panther trailer, but I certainly liked it and got me more excited for this movie. A lot of this trailer did leak a while back from Comic-Con because this isn't the exact tra trailer that they showed at Comic-Con. But this is a similar one. So, yeah, a lot of it leaked. So I have seen a little... Like, a lot of people watched it. I, everybody's seen, like, a little bit of this trailer. But, yeah. So it wasn't all completely fresh. So, yeah. Um, the po They released a poster for this as well, which I'll quickly talk about at the end here. They released a poster for Ant-Man. I don't... Um, I don't know if I love it. I, I don't have a picture of it, or I could get one, but I'm not, I'm not going to because it, it's just a quick, I'm just going to quickly talk about it for a second. I'm, this is not like a big thing about it. I feel like the poster does look like a Boss Logic poster, like it's fan-made. Boss Logic makes a lot of fan-made um, Marvel posters and they look really good, but it, this, it doesn't look official. Like this is just a teaser poster and like I think it's referenced to like another, another movie, an old space movie sort of. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I think it's a reference to something. But yeah, um, the poster, it's in concept, it's cool. Of like, you know, the tiny wasp and Ant-Man in Kang's palm, where you see his face. In concept, it's cool. I just think it looks really fan-made and it could have been done better. It's strange that we don't get like a full look on our two protagonists in the poster. But it, this is just a teaser poster, so we'll see in the next poster. 
But yeah, overall, I did like this trailer. Oh, by the way, I'm excited to see more of Michelle Pfeiffer in this movie because we did not get a lot of her in the Ant Man and the Wasp. So yeah, I'm, I, she's a great actress, so I'm excited to see more of her. And she looks great. All these actors look great. I'm, the, the cast of this movie really is fantastic. It's an outstanding cast. And I'm really excited to see what happens. Oh, Bill Murray. By the way, I didn't talk about Bill Murray. I don't know what his role in the movie is, but I, I've, I've heard it's kind of small. But yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff going on with Bill Murray at the moment. But yeah, I like Bill Murray, so this will be cool to see him. But anyway... That is my breakdown of the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer. Let me know your thoughts on the trailer down in the comments below. Let me know if you're excited for this movie or not. And yeah, that's it for my breakdown. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.